Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the mic working. I think we've got the cameras working. We have our B cam, which we haven't done this in this current streaming setup before, but thanks to the Mac Mini, I believe it is possible. I'm going to go ahead and, well, you know what? It's 30 FPS, so I'm going to let the preview stream run anyway. But welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to those of you who have been waiting. Thank you for being so patient. S20 Ultra, it arrived ahead of schedule. Samsung didn't say it was coming until the 6th. I ordered one, like, immediately as soon as it was available, and then they said it was going to deliver to me on the 5th, and here we are on the 2nd, and it's officially showed up. So the packaging actually looks a little bit different. All these years, Samsung packages have looked incredibly similar. They've always had some blue text on the front that just says S7, S8, S9, S10, and for me at least... I've noticed that it, it barely changes over the years. It's practically been the same, um, but this one changed a little bit. Now it says S20, and you can kind of get the imprint here, and we can kind of get a preview of how massive the Ultra really is. But, of course, they have to incorporate the 5G branding into literally everything. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but I'm fine with it because I just can't believe that this is going to be my first experience ever with an 8K camera. I've never used 8K before, I've never shot in 8K before, I've never edited in 8K before, and hey, speaking of Ks, we're almost at 200K, which is kind of cool. Thank you, everybody, those of you who have subscribed. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, that's fine. I don't care. One of the milestones I was hoping to reach is 200,000 subscribers, except I never asked anyone to subscribe. I don't think I've ever started or ended a video or at any point was like, hey, everybody, subscribe to my channel. I've always just kind of mentioned how many subscribers they were, but that's not the point of this video. I'm just letting people like j who just got the go live notification come in so they don't miss too much of the live stream. But of course, this will be available after the fact. I'm watching this. It's not overexposed. It's fine. You can see me. Relax. Turn down your brightness. Don't worry about it. Um, you're going to be seeing this angle anyway. So unlocked by Samsung. Here we go. We got the wall charger stereo headset and also another another um milestone of the s20 ultra this is the most expensive phone i've ever purchased and the most expensive phone i've ever going to unbox so here we go here we go this knife sucks by the way it's falling apart on me but because it's not you know a foldable phone this isn't like a first it's it's still just kind of like big big glass sandwich I figured might as well do it live because edited it may not be as interesting. Oh well. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Whoa. That is huge. Okay. That is a large display. Oh, it's pretty heavy too. Not terribly thick though. Oh my god. Look at that camera module. It's enormous. So obviously I got the jet black version as you can see. That camera module. Give you guys some... Whoa, give you some size comparison comparison there. You thought the camera module, this is the 11 Pro Max for those who didn't know. Um, man, that thing's huge. You can tell that's a that's the 108 megapixel sensor because my goodness, that is a huge lens. You're not gonna get the the point across over live stream, but it's tall too. Look how tall this phone is. That's pretty big. Whew, wow. Okay, I'm excited to try this out. Let me turn off the flash there. Um, peel off the plastic, see if the microphone will pick that up. Oh, it's two separate pieces this time. Whew. Can iPhone do 100x? No, it can't. Well, technically, this one can't either because it's a digital zoom. So I don't know if you count the telephoto lens on the iPhone as 6x. Uh, but yeah, it's not a 100x optical, which is kind of stupid. But uh, I'll definitely mess around with the zoom. On here, that's like the main thing. Wait, is there no plastic on the front? There's nothing to peel? I think it's a screen protector. I'm pretty sure. But we've got 120 hertz. We've got 8K video capabilities. We've got a super telephoto lens on here. Um, oh, I still got the Z Flip. Shoot, it's right over here. Wait. Here's the Z Flip, which I still have on me for now. Um, open that two-handed phone so this one's still super tall but oh man i shouldn't have put it in there that's gonna make it harder to get out of the box there we go that i still can't get over that camera module is super thick holy crap it's a plastic screen protector okay 
there you go. Height-wise, they're actually really, really close. So I think the I think the flip is just narrow. I think that's mostly what it is. But yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping we can get more like equal size bezel on the ultra lineup, but the bezels are going to be really really thin on the ultra. So let's power it up here. I'm going to start messing around with it. I'll go through the setup and everything. Please remove the screen protector. I don't know if I'm keeping this, so I I don't think I want to remove the screen protector. I'd rather just leave the screen uh, the way it was intended to be used. Branded Nell super chatted just now. Thank you very much. How's it going with everyone? It's going well so far. Whoa. Let's get started. Oh, she's talking. Let me help you get set up more easily by guiding you through the steps. Do you have to talk through the whole Let's thing? Look at the terms oh, there's the speaker. I can turn it off. Okay, does the flip have 120 hertz? No, it does not. Um... I sheep and Sam Tart, stop being salty and watch the stream. Well, most of you aren't typing in the chat, I can tell. Um, okay, we agree to all terms and conditions. I'm just going to sign into my Wi-Fi. That's why you're not going to get the B camera for now. But, whoa, this display is massive. I can get used to this. I would like more phones to have. Oh, okay, I know, I'm noticing what people are saying about the uh, the curved edges here. They're not as curved as previous generations. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. It actually doesn't cut into the hand as much as previous generation Samsungs. It feels a lot more smooth, which I like. Do not remove the screen protector. <laughs> Randy's in the chat. Careful, everybody. Mods present. Imagine not having a 120 hertz display. I know, right? Okay, it's checking for updates straight out of the box. This is also another first for Talos. If I've never owned a 5G phone... Because before, in previous years, I could get the non-5G variants of Samsung's, but now you don't have a choice. So um, that display is insanely huge, especially next to the iPhone. Let's compare those. Dude, I love big displays. There's never been a phone I've been like, this display is too big. It's, sometimes it comes down to the aspect ratio. Like with the Z Flip, it's just too tall. I'm okay with it being big as long as the width goes along with it. But man, look, think about this for one-handed use. This is going to be a little tricky. I'm okay with that, though. I can live with that. Oh, the Bixby button is gone. That's, oh, thank God. I'm so glad they got rid of that. Uh, let's see. Is the 8K pointless? I think it is. Thank you for the super chat, Kilo Charlie. 8K isn't necessarily pointless. It's I would describe it as overkill. Is this something most people need? No. Is it something most people are ever going to see your videos at 8K resolution? No. Does YouTube support 8K? Technically, yeah, but um, most people can't tell the difference unless the display is after a certain size, but that's not what this phone about. This this phone, this is not what the phone is about. This phone is about taking what is available now with technology and tech specs and pushing it all the way to the maximum. And that's why it's $1,400, which is kind of insane. But um, it does have it, and I, I know that most people aren't even going to watch it, but I want to just at least do one vlog on the Talos of Talks channel. Just just one vlog in 8K, which I think would be awesome. In the next two years, it's outdated. Yes, a lot of the features on this phone are not going to be utilized very much, but that's, again, this phone is not meant for the masses. This is meant for just having overkill specifications to the max. Uh, Awkward Human Super Chat, it says, hey, it's only from the Discord. Still waiting for my S20 Ultra. Really jealous, by the way. Also, 120 hertz isn't turned on by default. I can tell. I have trained eyes. I'm not noticing it. And people made sure to tell me on day one, Drew, 120 hertz isn't turned on by default. But if you've been reading articles, you know that the 120 hertz kills the battery pretty substantially. Thanks, Qualcomm. Your software optimization isn't done as well. I don't even think it's a variable refresh rate. It might be, but... um. I'm okay with that because most people probably don't know or care that much about 120 hertz, but I do. So I'll turn it on in the settings. Um, I'm just logging in here, so just give me a second. I want to just get to the home screen. Uh, another super chat from Tevier just says, does Exynos better or Snapdragon version? Well, at this point, I think the Snapdragon CPU is faster, but I would still prefer, if I could, to get an Exynos version because that would mean, um, that would mean I could just not have 5g because i don't care about 5g so um s20 is not variable refresh rate thank you okay thanks for answering that 
Shirt says USB-C. Galaxy S20 charger is a USB-C. That's correct. Do we want to look for the rest of the box? Hold on. Let me set up the uh, password here. You know what? I can actually skip it. That means that you guys can steal my phone. Get straight into it. There's no password. Austin's Life Super Chat. It says, I'm not an Apple fanboy, but I like Apple. And the reason is I'm visually impaired and I rely on voiceover to freely access the internet in in my device. That's where Android has its big downfall. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But thank you for the Super Chat. I'm glad they have uh, accessibility features for people who have trouble with vision. Um, Kylo Charlie Super Chat. It says, Linus Tech Tips prop. Uh, probably upset spending a hundred thousand dollars on 8k cameras well you guys should know pixels aren't everything the resolution is 8k but a lot of people have said that uh, the 8k does not look substantially different from the 4k because it may be technically capturing an 8k image but if the pixels and of course it's a smartphone it's going to be heavily heavily compressed and i'm realizing i can kind of hold some of the weight of the phone from the camera bump on the back which is sort of funny <laughs> um man that is that is a thick camera bump. They went all out with the camera. I'm skipping the Samsung app for now. I just want to get to the home screen. Um, okay, there you have it. This is the default wall uh, wallpaper out of the box. You can check out my wicked knife there. Very overkill. Um, but yeah, we got one UI back. Let's try this camera here. Looking for more modes. Oh my goodness. There's a bunch of modes already. So there's ultra wide, of course. Does this support, look at all the zoom options across the bottom. You see that? 0.5, 1x, 2x, 4x, 10x, 30x, 100x. That's crazy. I'm really excited to mess around with this. All right. Um, go away. Where's the set? There it is up here. Um, rear video size. There it is. 16 by 9, 8K. I know it's probably really hard to see. I'm not going to be able to zoom in right now, but... Um, I just unboxed my S20 Ultra and love it so far. Congrats, Tyler Parr, 69. Ha ha. That number. Okay, 7680 by 4320. That is high resolution. Okay. And the front video size? What? There, okay, I was like, where's 4K? Why is 4K not an option? Okay, yeah. We're going 4K at 60 on the front, of course. Why wouldn't we? Um... So we're going to fill up the storage on this thing very quickly. Video stabilization is on. And now if we go to video mode, we're shooting at 8K. Whoa. Wait, are we zoomed in already? Seems kind of... It seems very zoomed in, actually. How do we... Oh, yeah. It's like zoomed way in by default. Is it defaulting to the telephoto lens? It definitely looks... Oh, no. The curse noise is... Here we go. Are you going to enable the Android 10 gestures? Yeah, probably. If they're, uh, I've heard they're decent. Why am I not getting... Oh, no. Stop. Stop with the noises. Okay, let me turn that down all the way. There we go. Um, is that the 128 gig version? Yes, I believe it is, because I can live happily with 64 gig, so I did not need the 512 gig. But with 8K video, I might, actually. That might have been a better idea. Um, but that's a lot more... Uh, seriously. Um, so it, we do have it here. There's the cameras on it. Um, I'm just wondering why... Yeah, the 8K video is definitely super cropped in. I'm pretty sure this is the telephoto lens. That does not look like the main lens. And it's not focusing very well. Okay, whatever. Let me play with that a little bit later. Um, Michael Forenter super chatted. How did you get the S20 Ultra? I have AT&T and pre-ordered mine on the 21st and still waiting. So I pre-ordered this from Samsung's website directly. I got it unlocked, so there's no SIM card in here. They didn't have that option for me with the Z Flip, sadly. I would have got it unlocked, but like on the first hour, the first like couple minutes, the Z Flip was available for pre-order. Um, the unlocked version was like unavailable. We won't we won't sell you the unlocked version. So I wasn't able to switch my SIM over to this one because it's still carrier locked, but I was taking it with me everywhere I went for the review. But this one, I think I'll be able to swap my SIM into and actually leave the iPhone. Um, 8K is using multiple lenses to get the resolution. 8K automatically crops in. It's not the telephoto. That kind of sucks. Whoa, look at the display. Like that dynamic wallpaper is kind of cool. I, I'm also a big fan that they've actually um, centered the camera hole. I appreciate that they did that because um, I, I remember the camera hole being all off to the right on the S10, and I was kind of annoyed that 
just from a symmetrical standpoint, makes more sense to put it in the middle. Thank you, Samsung, for listening to us on that one. Um, did you say leave the iPhone? Yes. When I review Android phones, I generally leave the iPhone unless, you know, they're carrier locked like the Z Flip was. Um, do the gestures on Samsung feel smoother than iPhone at 120 hertz? Well, out, out of the box, um, they don't have gestures. They still have the nav bar, so I'll have to switch those over, but I'm trying to keep up with you guys at the same time. Um, but I would also very much like to switch to 120 hertz right now, so I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Let's see where it is. Um... Ah, here we go. Here we go. So under motion smoothness, they showcase both. We're locking it to high refresh rate. Goodbye battery life. Ooh, I noticed it. Whoa, that looks so good. I'm sorry. I can't help it. That looks so nice. You guys can't tell at all, can you? But for me, at least, it's super noticeable. I love how... Oh, oh my God, that looks so good. Oh... Man, I, I wish there was more apps or something I could take advantage of this thing. Oh my god. That looks so nice. If this was if this was on the iPhone, please. If this was on the iPhone, I'd be so happy. I'm probably gonna get over it pretty quickly, but it just looks so snappy. Everything looks so smooth. I don't care if it's I don't notice that it's 1080p. Still looks great. No complaints at all. Oh, that's so responsive. Like with, with like scrolling and stuff, like it, it's responding to my to my finger really well. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry you can't appreciate it because this live streams at 30 fps. But why so many Google accounts? Because I run a network, boy. I got lots of channels to manage. Um, I have 120 hertz off. I want that 11, 11 hours of screen on time. That will suck. It's a shame that you don't get as much battery life out of it. But I don't care. It looks amazing. Why can't they have something in the middle? Why can't they have like a happy 90 hertz with decent battery. Maybe that's an option. They can add that via software update later. Man, it's going to be a really hard actually to do 8K with this because look how crop, cropped in it is. Like, I know it's blurry, but even, even with like my average handheld use, it's like super closed up on my face. So if I do vlogging with this at 8K, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to really move it behind. I'm going to have to stretch my hand quite a bit to get it comfortable. <laughs> Make sure to do the software update to fix camera. I will. As uh, any updates are available, I will install them. Uh, who's this? Shub, uh, Shubhang super chatted. If you could put one underrated feature uh, from the S20 Ultra into the next iPhone, what which one would it be? I don't know if any of the features on the S20 Ultra are underrated. I feel like all of the greatest features of the S20 Ultra are the features that people give it credit for, whether it be the 8K video or the Space 100X zoom or the the 120 hertz. Uh, none of those are really underrated. Maybe just underappreciated uh, in the in the general market. But for me, like 120 hertz, I would take that. USB-C is nice too. Um, those are the two biggest things I think Apple could do on the next iPhone, and they would probably get most people happy and on board. Even if they didn't have 5G, most people would be happy if they just brought 120 hertz and USB-C. I would be super happy with that. What happened to your DJI stabilizer? It started not working very well. I still have it, but um, something's up with it, and it's just kind of acting up a lot lately, and it won't stay stable, and it will automatically move left to right when I don't want it to, and it's just getting old. I don't know if I can recommend that one, uh, but there's a newer one now, so maybe I should pick that one up. Uh, DJI mainly supports iPhone. Well, it can support anything that it it would support this. I could I could put that in there. Um, don't forget about the 240 hertz response. I I must I I have to say I think I notice it. It's like very very. It's a super responsive display, with like how quickly things open and stuff like that. Just with the gesture, man. Okay, I gotta switch over to gestures here. That'll be cool. But I'm liking it. I'm liking this hardware a lot, actually, right now. Man, there's still a lot of tiny, tiny amounts of plastic on it. I'm so glad they got rid of the Bixby button. That always annoyed the crap out of me. The power button's in a very ergonomic space as well. I like where they put that. Um, super tall phone. But this is nice. I'm already loving this a lot more than the Z Flip. I can tell you that much. Uh, why isn't the stream on 60 FPS? I'll tell you because I wanted to have this B cam here. 
And um, this camera that I'm using for the B cam shots is uh, a bit older and it isn't capable of, it's, it's a couple of years, I bought it used, I didn't even buy this new. It's a couple of years old and it, its output for video does not, like when you do live streams like this, it only outputs 1080 at 30 maximum. Um, it's only newer cameras like this one that can actually support like 4K at 60 video output. Um, or I don't even know if it's 4K, I think it's just 1080 at 60. It might do 4K, I, I forget, but um, so if I was just live streaming with this camera, which normally that's what I do, uh, I could keep it at 60. But uh, if I'm using both, uh, I have to lock it to 30, which most people watch it at the 30 anyway. Can you watch 1440p videos while at 120 or hertz 1080p? Oh, that's a good question. Let me try that. Uh, I know my videos, for example, are going to be uh, 4K at 60. So let me go to my channel here. Oh, this is so buttery. It's going to be hard. Should we watch my live stream? Let's try that. No. Um, let's watch the latest video about the iPhone 12. Let's try that out. Okay. Quality by default was not was set to 360p. Let's fix that. Ooh. Okay. This is locked. Um, I don't know if you can see it better on this one. This caps out at 1080 at 60. So it actually won't go to 1440 for YouTube videos. But honestly, y'all you, couldn't notice that. If it just gave you the... All right, I get it, Samsung. Thank you. I get it. Okay. Um, you can punch it. See, it doesn't punch in that it like lo you lose a bunch of quality like you do with the Z Flip. You c you cut out so much on the flip when you punch in because of how tall the aspect ratio is. For how long are you going to switch over to the S20 Ultra? Probably one to two weeks. We'll see how I like it. But man, that display looks great. So yeah, when you're on 120 hertz mode. I believe that YouTube caps out at 1080p, but we should, just to be sure, let's go back to 60 hertz um, and see if the resolution options change. So I'm going to go to display here. Um, so we're going back to stupid 60 hertz that prioritizes battery life. Hit apply. Ooh, it looks so choppy and basic now. I hate it. All right. Okay, so let's refresh this for a second. Ooh, 199K. We're close, guys. We're close. Um, this is my first time watching a live unboxing on your channel. Congrats on almost 200k. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting close. Uh, Anonymous Super uh, donated. Says, thoughts about China succeeding with smartphones? Uh, I don't know if I would say succeeding. Succeeding is very subjective, and it doesn't really have a hard definition. If you're talking about just revenue generated, Apple dominates the premium smartphone market, and China may do better with quantity, but that doesn't necessarily mean uh, quality. Um, and a lot of it, you know, the, the success of a phone may, came, may come from years of support or resale value or specs or number of features. So there's all multitudes of reasons a phone may be successful or not. Um, in some eyes, uh, Apple's doing really well in China as of recently. The iPhone 11 sold incredibly well. Um, and when it comes to phones that, you know, cost uh, above $800, Apple's dominant in that department. When it's phones under $800, yeah, that's when other uh, Chinese manufacturers or Samsung may take over, but uh, I don't think most of you would say the best-selling car is the best car in the world. That's just one that happened to be applicable and useful for a lot of people, but um, just because, you know, Toyota Camry sell really well, that doesn't make them the best car on the planet. Similar with smartphones. Uh, just because there may be one of type of Android phone that sells really, really well doesn't make it the best one. Um, and I'm glad Apple doesn't prioritize that. They, they want to just make the best phones, but... Uh, Okay, anyway, going back to the app, let's try to load up that same video, see if it takes us to 1440. No, it doesn't. Okay, so maybe it's just an issue with my video. <laughs> um, or maybe, for whatever reason, this version of YouTube doesn't go up to 1440. Just to be safe, let me search a, a template like 4K at 60 FPS footage, like... So we know it's not just my channel doing something off. Yeah. No, see, all of them cap out at 1080. So YouTube doesn't even do 1440p on this. Maybe I have to reset it or anything. But I didn't even turn it off of 1440. Okay, I'll try restarting the YouTube app if this is your question. We've got time here. So if you guys have S20 Ultra questions that I can answer just right now on the spot, feel free to let me know. Um, you are seriously an underrated tech reviewer. I wish you the best in the upcoming future and beyond. Congrats on almost 200K. Thank you, Aiden. That was nice of you to say. And I, I'm not underrated. I think I have way more subscribers than I deserve. But thank you. <laughs> You're still in 1080. Change it in settings. I didn't touch that part of settings. 
Um, all I changed was the refresh rate. But yeah, I will make sure. No, see, at this at this point, it still says screen resolution full HD. I can turn it all the way up, but it was not like that out of the box. So in order to get 1440p playback, maybe you have to do that. Okay, but I closed the YouTube app, so we're we're launching that over again. Um, there's me watching <laughs> doing this live stream. You forgot to change the resolution back. I didn't. I it was what the resolution was out of the box. I didn't change the resolution. All I changed was the frame rate. But okay, this is also not good for battery life, and it still says 1080p. In fact, now the 60 FPS went away. So what's that about? Um, refreshing the page again. I closed the YouTube app. We're opening this video, which I know is in 4K at 60, and it still caps out at 1080 at 60. Okay. So we go to settings. We go here. See, I'm on Quad HD Plus. I'm on all the way up. If you don't believe me, we'll close the YouTube app again. Where is it? Close it. Got it. We're going to YouTube. Again. We're going to load up the video. See if we get that 1440p option. It's not there. It is not there, which is weird. Now you're saying restart the phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we could maybe play around with that later. Someone just asked a good question. Uh, they said, did I also get the Galaxy Buds Plus, which recently came out, which, this is hilarious. Yes, I did, but I had no idea. I completely forgot until you just asked. I didn't even look in the package. When it, the, the guy delivered the package, I just immediately ran in here. I was like, okay, let's get ready for the live stream. Let's go. And then I opened the box. And I was like, okay, there it is. Let's just start on the unboxing. And now you just said, did you get the Galaxy Buds? And I was like, oh, yeah. I think they said because I reserved one, I should get Galaxy Buds Plus for free. So it's not here. <laughs> Never mind. Can you try force closing YouTube? I did force close it. So it sounds like I'm going to have to restart the phone in order to actually get that resolution change. So if you want, I can do that. Your face is out of focus. Good, then you can't see how terrible my skin condition is. Did you apply the displays and settings? You have to press the button. Yes, I did. Oh my God. I'm sorry the cameras don't show you that much detail, but yes, we go in here, apply, see? I hit apply, it's grayed out actually. If I change it, it turns blue. If I hit the option that's already selected, it's grayed out, but okay. Try a different video. I will try a different video. 4K at 60. Here's the stock one. Looks great though. HDR, but still 1080p. It's so bright you can't even see it. <laughs> Let me turn down this a little bit. But yeah, at the bottom there, that's 480, 720, 1080. It's capped out. Now everyone's saying you have to restart the phone. Man. Fine, okay. If you believe that'll work, I don't have much faith in you guys, though. Hi, I'm Bixby. Oh, no, I don't want to activate Bixby. Don't do that. We'll probably have to. Let me turn that up so you guys can see it. Um, all right, restarting. Just for you guys, because you asked. Uh, so make sure you're in 60 hertz and then set it to 14. Guys, are you blind? I just did that five times. <laughs> You have to go to power mode, I think, of the drop-down menu. This is so not worth it. Y'all can't tell the difference between 1080 and 1440. It's just numbers. If it played the exact same video but said, for, but said 1440p, you would believe it. Trust me. Turn your phone to 60 hertz. I did. It was at 60. Um, some of y'all may be new. Uh, the phone maxes out at 1. <laughs> Check for an update. Why are you guys so concerned about the 1440p playback? I know you're not going to do that. All right. I just restarted the phone. I'm here to prove y'all wrong. I'm going to settings. Go to display. It's still on 60 hertz. See? Standard refresh rate. Up here is 120. And it's grayed out because it says not supported at the Quad HD. Okay. Now, going to... Oh, let's stay in display. Resolution. Still at 1440p, all right? Phone is restarted. After this, y'all are going to be saying, like, contact Samsung. There's something wrong with the phone. Now they're saying update 
the app in the Play Store. Let's see if we got updates ready. Um, updates. Sorry, I haven't used Android in a while. Give me a second. Um, where's the... Hold up. Why does the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store make the updates tab so complicated? Uh, Austin's Life super chatted. Thank you. Yeah, I wish it was on the iPhone. I do weather graphic forecast modeling. I'm third generation iPad Pro and it's gorgeous. I have enough vision to see weather modules. That's awesome. Thank you for the super chat again, Austin's Life. And a third one, five bucks. Love your content. Not going to try to broke on your... <laughs> not going to try to go broke on your broadcast. Thank you. You don't have to go broke. Don't worry about that. I appreciate the support. Screw, screw the resolution. Try the new gestures. Thank you, Sarush. And because you super chatted, I'm fine with that. I'm going to... I'm gonna do that after this but i'm gonna check um first Prepare experience setting up one more time we're not even gonna go to my channel i'm just gonna bypass that part oh it worked okay so restarting the phone fixed it now we see 1440p at 60 fps which looks exactly the same as 1080 at 60. cool Congratulations. Updates in the top. It didn't need an update. Y'all were wrong. The phone needed to restart, so YouTube will be confused unless you reboot the phone. But hey, check out that gorgeous visuals. I know you can't see it, but it looks great for me. 1440 at 60. Mostly for the flex, because on a phone, the difference is between 1080 and 1440. Very small. Um, this is coming from someone who shoots in 4K. Let me watch, see if it does it on my video as well. You don't need 120 hertz on phones. Oh, yes, we do. You also don't need the bezel trend, but we like it anyway. Cool. My video is supported too, 144860. Say goodbye to your battery life. Well, that's weird. That was like earlier today, and now you're watching a live stream of me watching that video. <laughs> All of this for nothing. Okay, let's try the gestures. Um, I'm guessing that's in settings, right? Let me search it. Gestures. Advanced for display navigation. But full screen. Okay. We're switching to from navigational buttons here to full screen gestures. So you swipe up. And apparently, oh my god, that is just what iOS is. Press and hold. <laughs> and then swipe up to go home. Yes! Thank you. I finally have iOS gestures on here. Perfect. Okay. So we go on here. Zip. Swipe to go home. It, it's like the exact same animation. Like it condenses down and goes back. <laughs> okay, never mind. So it's just on the iPhone where they remove 1440p YouTube playback. Well, the iPhone isn't even full 1440p anyway. It's like in the 12, uh, 1200s or something like that. So maybe that's why. Well, YouTube will gray out options for iOS and iPadOS regardless. So I wouldn't blame it all on Apple. But um, yeah, like they, they could easily add picture and picture support to the iPad, but they don't because they want that to be an Android thing and they don't want it to be. They also gray out random things for the iPad as well on the YouTube app. Like they don't let you look at community posts on the iPad, which I find bizarre. Um, and I think they don't let you do certain like like YouTube live streams or something like that. Is it, there's a, it's not that. It's something like that. There's a bunch of like features they have turned off. Honestly, don't think we need 120 hertz. 90 hertz is okay. Well, I mean, it's... All of this is selfish. We're getting to the point now where smartphones have everything they need. So this is a very stupid argument people are having if, if you're trying to say... You don't need that, though. You don't need that. Yeah, we don't need three lenses on our phone. We don't need two cameras on our phone. Whatever you're taking a picture of with your phone, if if you're using your phone, you probably don't care that much about the color calibration or the pixel that... It's just... Is the picture, does it look good? Cool. It's good enough. And $300 phones can do that. We're all in the realm of pro features, high-end hardware, going to the max, taking settings there, and whichever phone prioritizes the ones, the, the features we care about, that's the one uh, I'm going to enjoy. And as a tech channel, we have to talk about those features that, no, they're not necessary, but we're talking about the overkill stuff. Um, so 60 is okay. Heck, 30 FPS would probably, 30 hertz would probably work for a lot of people on a smartphone. A lot of, you know, older people probably wouldn't even notice the difference. They would just keep using their phone. While you and I may think, well, I, I can see the difference. It's super noticeable. But personally, 
I, now that we did your guys' stupid resolution test, I'm going to go turn 120 hertz right back on because I thought that looked glorious. Here we go. I know you can't see it, but it's in motion smoothness. Yes. Oh, that looks great. Oh, yeah. How do we go back now? Is it? Whoa. How did I do that? Wait, what? Okay. So when I swipe up from this side of the phone, it activates the Google Assistant, which is kind of weird. Um, you know, if I swipe up from the home screen, it activates Samsung Pay. Okay. I've got some things to learn here. All right, so one side's Google, other side is Google, okay. <laughs> um, that's a little different. So if we're in like the settings app, swipe sides on the screen to go back, gotcha. Yeah, that's pretty similar to iOS, which is good. I'm not, I'm not docking it for that, that's a good thing. Um, so if I'm in settings and I'm changing the features or something, can I do that to, no, that switches apps. What I'm trying to see is how do I hit the top part? Like, how do I go back like this? Can I swipe back? Yeah, okay. That kind of works. It's a weird animation. Normally, well, it goes down, but you're moving back to this menu, which is kind of bizarre. You can turn Samsung Pay off. Yeah, I probably will do that. That isn't as necessary. Um, 240 hertz should be nice too. I remember when Apple first implemented the 120 hertz touch refresh rate, and I could definitely notice the difference. 240, I have a harder time noticing. My my monitor over here goes to 165, which is very small difference between 120 on my iPad Pro. Um, all I notice is that it's above 90. That stands out. But once you get over 120, the differences become smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, awkward human super chat it says check out the new screenshot feature take a screenshot of a YouTube thumbnail and then go edit it it will highlight the thumbnail to crop in it will highlight the thumbnail okay not exactly sure what you mean by that but let's give it a shot so we're gonna go to YouTube I like these gestures there's PewDiePie's thumbnail can't you uh... dang it now I'm having a hard time remembering screenshotting do you do both of these at once no. Oh, here we go. Quickly press and release the side volume down keys at the same time. Wait. Press and release the side and volume down keys. Oh, well, that's what I was doing. So you have to, real quick. Yes, you can have access to the camera. Okay. Open with gallery, sure. Allow, no, not right now. I'm live streaming, don't show that info. Um, edit? Allow photo editor to access photos immediately. Okay, does iOS really ask that much? Uh, free crop? You might have to explain to me where, oh, what does this do? This is like auto, in oh, okay. It tried to crop it a little bit. I'm just, uh, oh, that's nice. When you're, when you're cropping, it's like 16 by 9, 4 by 3. What's that? 1 by 1. That's really cool. I like that, where it's like telling you the aspect ratios as you're adjusting them. Yes, there's a lot to... I haven't used, like, I used the Z Flip, but I haven't used a lot of the screenshotting stuff like that. So much to learn. Uh, greetings from Germany, but it's 11.51 p.m. over here. Well, thanks for tuning in, even that late. I like that. That's cool. Take a screenshot, tap the crop button on that bar, and you'll see the option, uh, the crop option. Okay. Reset. Let me get out of here. Oh, wait, go away. All right. I'm going to try a different screenshot, one that's actually mine. Maybe one of these. Well, these are smaller. Fine. Let's just go to the home tab. Um... Here's a Tesla one. I still don't like this screenshot method. Yeah, I gotta just not press and hold. Just do it quickly. Oh, I can do scroll for the longer screenshot or what does this do? Oh, let's mark it up. Huh. I'm just noticing how smooth everything is. I don't even care about the crop function. 
Is that the new Apple Knife Pro? Yes. This is the certified Apple Sheep knife here, which, ugh. ow, I'm going to cut myself. Don't do that. Um, I'm not sure exactly what your screenshot saved without changes, but okay. I believe you, that there's some kind of screenshot functionality. I'm tapping this, and then it doesn't zoom in. It should really zoom in. That would be more helpful. There's no, like, crop button, but there's an edit button. Oh, photo editor is being used by another app. That seems kind of stupid. You can also take screenshot by three finger swipe down. Oh, okay. That's cool. Let me... Three finger. Is that what I did? Are you lying? I didn't see that. I'm not finding that to be the case. I'll have to turn that on later. Uh, try AK video. Well, I, it's very cropped in, so there's not too much I can do. With the pop up Samsung. Ooh, that's really smooth. I can tell. 4K at 60. Please switch to night mode. Is this not on night mode? I mean, it seems pretty dark. As is. How's that? But maybe autofocus doesn't work as well when it's like. I like how wide angle, though, that selfie is. Whoa, where's my detail? Can't zoom in or out in this mode. Oh, okay. Fine. Don't zoom in or out. Why not? Either way, things seem very snappy. Okay, so this is at 8K. Let me try to do a... Man, autofocus is very slow. Sorry. Autofocus is very slow in 8K mode. It's taking its time to focus. There you go. I think this mode definitely wants lots of light. I don't have to mess around more with it. Probably outside where I could actually take advantage of that, but do 100x zoom. He meant dark mode. What apps am I using that aren't to... Oh. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't need dark mode right now. I actually have my uh, general appearance to be automatic. So in the daytime, I have light mode. In the nighttime, I have dark mode. So that's probably all I'll do in here. I'll try a 100x zoom. I just wish there was a good way for me to show you. I could try. Maybe there's something here. If I adjust this lens, maybe. Hey, if I present the chat, that 8K 24S FPS video recording is going to destroy your battery life. Yeah, that's fine. I have two phones. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I've, I've read lots about what 120 hertz does and also what 8K does to your battery life, which is understandable because most phones can't do that in the first place. Um... So you have to go to Google Gallery, right? I forgot the phone has two versions of everything because Samsung's fighting with Google over the OS. That part has not been fixed. I hate that there's Internet, and then there's Google Chrome, and then there's Bixby, and there's Google Assistant, and there's Gallery, and there's Google Gallery, and there's Google Photos, which is different. There's the, two, the Play Store and the Galaxy Store. Like, there's just ugh, too much. Uh, Samsung is not for you, Apple user. Sam require, Samsung requires a brain and IQ over 65. Oof! Darn. That's right. I prefer phones that are harder to use because they make us smarter. That's right. Does it have 6G? I know. When are we getting 6G, Samsung? Dang it. Disable the Bixby when you press power button. I definitely will. I don't want to use Bixby at all. We know that someone who's, whose IQ is over 65 uses the username HH4560. That's how we know they're smart and they have no profile picture. Because only insanely high IQ could know how smart that name is. Such genius. <laughs> Samsung, is, uh, the 100x zoom is dumb. It's not... It may not be super useful all the time, but I still think it's kind of cool. Like, I want to try it. Let's let's try it here. I'm going to... You may have a hard time hearing me, but let me open the camera here so you all can see this. I'm going to change the focus a little bit. We can look at my office here. Check it out. I can barely get it in focus there. All right. So here's Ucha Wine, which is cool. You can see... Yeah, that makes my office look big. It's not big at all. All right, and then telephoto. Whoa! We're already super zoomed in, which is, that's at 5x. So if we want to keep going, there's the 
iPhone. Uh, I don't have enough things to look at. That's a hundred. Looking at, ugh, oh my god, you need a tripod for this. There's the iPhone camera bump, and then back to regular. Wow, it takes takes a while. Oh, and speaking of uh, hitting two hundred thousand soon, let's check out that play button. You can read it. Just barely. Hold on, this is really hard. For passing 100K, we're, which we're about to double. And we can look really close at that 100K. Whoa, and then ultra wide. Zoom. Holy crap, that's cool. See, it's not. Let me go back to normal mode here. It's not super useful, but I still think it's really, really cool. I still think that's cool. Sorry if I'm not perfectly in focus. Uh, the bots are annoying. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's so many bots here. Uh, where are the mods? Robert Gagan, thank you for super chatting. Three male apps in the last super chat was well worth it. Sorry, let me scroll back here. Did I miss one? Um, please switch to night mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> you super chatted, so I should, I should at least do it because he donated. Um... Is it in settings? Blue light filter. Always on display. It's like dark mode. Okay, there you go. Dark mode is on. Are you happy? <laughs> Can you try 108 megapixels, please? Okay. Let me take a selfie with uh, 108. Ooh, is that a... What happened there? Is that a software glitch? Oh, no. That's just where to focus. Oh, it's taking pictures. Wait, what? Why... Okay, you can move, like, the take camera button on the S20 Ultra. That's kind of interesting. Thank you, Viper. Viper's working on the bots in the chat. Sorry. This is why we stream on Twitch most of the time, people. Um, we switched in night mode. I'll do a 180x shot, so let me try that. Okay, that has a pretty satisfying haptic. Colors kind of look weird. This does not look that good, to be honest. Is that not a 108? That was the standard lens, right? Or is that a setting? <laughs> I've heard they use beauty mode on Sammy mode. Can move camera shutter on most galaxies? I didn't know that. Um, scan opposite for rear video size. No, it did not look super sharp. Um, maybe it's just that I need better lighting in here because it's not super bright. I mean, it's okay. These cameras can see, but a oh, 108 megapixels is a setting. Of course, everything everything good about this phone has to be turned on. Um, why is that a setting? Just leave that on, Samsung. I want to take pictures. So let me go back to camera settings. Yes, pictures as previewed. Set camera. Save options. High efficiency, ultra way. I'm not it's not an easy to find setting, that's for sure. Viper taking care of bots. Thank you. <laughs> uh you hit the aspect ratio button on the top of the screen. Gotcha. I'm glad you guys know how to do all this. Um there we go. Three by five. 3x4, 108 megapixel. There we go. Now we try that. Is that in? Uh, we'll get it moved over this way a little bit. I've got such a good selfie face. Oh, it's blurry. You gotta you gotta wait longer than that. <laughs> you have to kind of you you can't take it too quickly. They said that shot was too blurry. Yeah, that utilizing the entire camera sensor is an option. <laughs> I guess that I guess it has to be an option when it's 108 megapixels. With my iPhone camera, it's just the full resolution whenever you take the picture. With this, it's like go into settings, switch it over. Man, that takes like a full second before it's actually done taking. All right. Uh, wow. Okay, yeah, that one's a lot better. That is quite a bit of detail. It's still kind of noisy, but impressive nonetheless. That's a 
decent amount of like natural bokeh too. I'm sorry, I, I, I would show this to you, but it, it, you're not going to get much detail out of it. Um, oh my goodness. How do we get rid of the bots? Is this what happens when... I think you know you're a popular YouTuber when all the bots start flooding the chat. Uh, I, is there, um, let's, let me do some cleaning here. Ugh. This is disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna just... I wish Samsung had a get rid of the bots option. I don't think I'm going to keep the Z Flip. I just don't, I don't, I think it will just stay folded up on my desk for a long time if I end up holding on to it. But other channels out there that want to keep it will tell us how the durability handles it long run, long time. That is an option because they achieve 9x1 pixel bidding to achieve better render. Okay, then just uh, leave that on. Why does it, why do you have to turn it on? But okay. What's the difference between full and 108 megapixels. Those are two different things for some reason. Single take mode. Oh yeah, I remember that. And literally like every single mode you open, it's like, would that, would, you, would you be okay with allowing permissions? Can camera talk to gallery? Is that okay? I'm like, calm down, relax, relax. Ugh. We are at 120 Hertz, yes. I appreciate that camera settings are in the camera app, but I don't appreciate the annoying uh, profile pictures of the chat. <laughs> Will I keep the S20 Ultra? I don't know. I don't know. I probably don't have a need for keeping around two phones, but that doesn't mean that I won't have nice things. To I really enjoyed the S10 Plus, but I didn't keep that uh, just because it's not really a great use of money to just have two phones, one that you probably use all the time and one that you occasionally use. But uh, I'm excited to review it, that's for sure. Ultra, S20 Ultra sales going to be down. I heard they're not selling great, but a lot of that may have to do more so with the coronavirus than actual, like, people not being interested. But it's a, it's a higher-priced phone nonetheless. Like, $1,000 is already pretty high, and most phones that are a grand don't sell that well. And this is 1400 so it's already a very, very small demographic um, so I, I'd, I'd be curious for the resale value on this, but man, that is a beast of the, a beast of a phone, especially for the specs. Um, do a giveaway? No, you do a giveaway. All that means when you say do a giveaway is just give me that for free. I want it. I'm giving you all this content for free. This is hard. <laughs> That's my giveaway. I'm giving away my opinions. It's the full resolution, uh, but by default, it combines nine pixels into one to take 12 megapixel pictures, so the pixel size is huge. Gotcha. That makes a little bit of sense. Um, this guy's waiting for the Apple S20 Ultra to come out. I do appreciate that when all these phones out there are all making pro versions of all their phones, they're like, this thing pro, this thing pro. I'm appreciative that Samsung called it Ultra. They didn't want to call it Pro because that's what everyone else is doing. So thank you, Samsung, for being a little bit unique in that way. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry, it's called COVID-19. You know what I meant. I could call it whatever I want. <laughs> don't like your giveaway re reaction, mate. Okay, then unsubscribe. I don't want to be known as the guy who just gives away stuff for free, and that's why you subscribe to the channel. If... if that bothers you? Goodbye. I don't need you. <laughs> we did a giveaway. It was weird. Oh, God. The bots are back. Get rid of them. Gross. Okay. So before we wrap up on this stream, do we have any other questions for the S20 Ultra that I can showcase or I can answer for you right now? Um, let's see. But after seeing your live stream today, I kind of like your reviews. Thank you, Techno Gamer. Thank you. Um, I can't believe it is 17... It's, it's over $1,700 for the 512 gig version. Yes, that's very expensive, but that's an insanely good phone. That's a lot of specs. Why not change for once to the S20? It's not for once. Anytime I review an Android phone, I put my SIM card in it, so it's not. I'm doing that with this. I did it with the S10 Plus. I did it with the OnePlus. There's a lot of pluses, isn't there? Thank you, Apple, for getting rid of Plus and just moving to Max. That's fine. <laughs> so close to 200K. Thank you. Thank you. Um, when will you post the first videos on this phone? Well, this is technically the first one, but, uh, I will probably try to find some time to do a vlog with it. I want to go to a place where I can actually 
film and appreciate the 8K video, but um, test the speakers. Well, you're not going to be able to hear them very well, but uh, okay. I'll play some amazing Talosif music. How about that? Ooh, dark mode is nice. Looks pretty good. Um, so Talosif's music last video was from how recent? Just five days ago. Let's try that out. Please retry the screenshot crop thing. You'll have to tap the crop button only on the bar that shows up next to the scroll. This is too complicated, Latrell. I'll try. I, I gotta send tag me on Twitter with an actual detailed description. Let me test the speakers here. Whoa. They sound pretty good. Pretty well balanced. The speakers aren't like uh, piercing. They're not like super distorted at full volume, which I like. Hold on. Don't want to get copyright claimed here. I gotta be careful. No, it's a, I, the haptic feedback is great. It feels very satisfying. No, I like it a lot. The speakers, very full sounding. Thank you for being stereo. Unlike, uh, mm -hmm. Turn on Dolby Atmos. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. I started playing myself. Don't do that. Um, all right, I'll turn on Dolby Atmos because there's a million settings. Is that a problem? Like, is that a thing? Like, Android almost has too many options. There's like, I don't need two galleries. Okay. So here's full blast, and then I'm going to turn on Dolby Atmos. If you're going to have Dolby Atmos, why, why make it an option? It basically just make the speakers sound better. Just, wh why is that off by default? If you're paying Dolby Atmos to help tune your speakers, just let it be that way by default. That shouldn't be something you have to turn on. No, oh, it sounds good. Dolby Atmos uh, just kind of helped with the, the highs a little bit. Um... Set Dolby Atmos to music for a balanced sound. Ugh. There's more options. Okay, so in Dolby Atmos, we have movie, music, and voice. Why can't you just use AI to automatically... Yeah, it says auto. Automatically sound for whatever you're listening to. Is auto different from selecting the actual differences? Don't care about options. First default is the big thing. Because Samsung is smart. Make people have to turn on all of the actual features. You have to turn on Quad HD. You have to turn on 120 hertz. You have to turn on 8K video. You have to turn on 108 megapixels. You have to turn on Dolby Atmos. You have to turn on dark mode. Ooh. And there's different versions of Dolby Atmos. It's like you got great hardware there. It's just the software is fighting itself at all times. Ugh. Philip, thank you for the super chat. What the UI experience like versus iOS slash Pixel? Well, I didn't try the Pixel 4 because I was sick of that. That, that thing looked terrible. But um, iOS, I think, is still going to remain king when it comes to just optimization. The fact that there's one photo app when you turn it on. There's not as many asking for permissions. Can I... Is it okay if the camera takes videos? Like, that kind of thing. Um, you have to turn on the phone. <laughs> Darn. You always have to decide and compromise some features like 120 hertz versus 1440p. Yeah, I mean, Apple just gets rid of all of the, I think, unnecessary choices. This has a lot more options, but almost to a detriment where it kind of gets complicated. Um, but you like you set it up once and then you're good. It's fine. It's not that big a deal. Samsung OS just stresses me out. Too many options. What is the need? iPhone definitely has more of that mindset of like, let's just get the technology out of the way so you can just enjoy it whereas samsung's like you want to do this 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 you want to do that and it's like calm down for a second um but that does not mean the hardware is bad i love the hardware aspect of it this display is gorgeous and it the the display i can't stop looking at how buttery smooth that is it looks so good i'm also not a fan of how many apps they preload this thing with i don't like having two app stores they preload it with Microsoft apps and they preload it with a bunch of Samsung apps and they preload it with a bunch of Google apps as well. There's just 
a lot. Netflix is on here. I don't have Netflix. Um, Spotify is on here. I don't use Spotify. It's like, do you have to preload it with this kind of stuff? I mean, it's not downloading that from previous gen phones. I, I said skip all that during setup. I said don't pre-install apps or anything. Would you say the S20 is better, the Z Flip? Definitely. This this I wouldn't recommend it even if it was half the price. I did a whole video on the on the Z Flip. This this if even if it had no durability issues and if it was seven hundred dollars, I would not tell you to get it because the the specs are average and other than the part that it folds, it's very meh as a phone. None of, nothing about it is that impressive except the flipping part. And the flipping part is really, really cool for the first week, and then it just becomes your phone again, and then after that, it just becomes this step you have to go through every time you open the phone, and it kind of gets annoying. I'm just comfortable with taking my phone out of my pocket and starting to use it. It doesn't... Uh, do you think the games are going to run at 120 FPS? I believe there are some. I'm not sure how many there are, but there are a couple, I believe. Uday, thank you for the super chat, though. Appreciate that. I'm going to look through some Super Chats just to make sure I didn't miss any. It should be illegal to have more than two per installed unnecessary apps per phone. <laughs> I wouldn't say it needs to be illegal, but uh, it's preferred if you can just keep things simple that way. And um, That seems to be, in my first impressions with the S20 Ultra, That this seems to be the one thing that they haven't fixed since previous generations. I think it might be just because they have to do that when they have Android, so there's not really a way around it, but um, there are so many options you have to tinker with throughout the process there are so many like turn this on turn this on turn this on turn this on. like half of this stream was you guys saying turn this on turn this on like and i think that says something about the os um i like samsung display quality me too me too samsung is always king when it comes to displays they're fantastic uh foldables aren't the future i agree with you hey t skunk mobile <laughs> says how's mint network it's wonderful I love Mint Mobile. Uh, I switched pretty much almost everybody I know over to it. I, my wife and I switched over. And because so many people have used our referral links, we don't have to pay for phone service for the next two years, which is amazing. Um, so I'm really happy with the coverage, the speeds. Um, the prices are incredibly fair. And I switched my parents over. And they just went on a trip out of state. And they, they were in the northern united states like near near canada and they said they had no coverage issues at all it worked great and they were getting fast speeds and they were watching youtube videos and it's an important thing to remember about mint mobile is that it's it may not have an unlimited plan but the data is technically unlimited because they don't give you an overage charge if you run out of data so even if you have the lowest plan which i think is three gigs a month if you use up all three gigs they don't charge you extra. They just slow it down so that you can basically only send text messages or uh, through data. It's still there. It's just really slow. Um, and you can buy more if you need to, but there's no overage fee, which I really like because if there are overage fees with a data plan, people use it very differently. You're like, ooh, don't hit 12 because then they're going to charge you. But uh, if they don't have overage fees, it's like, yeah, just use it up. They don't, I mean, the data doesn't carry over, so yeah, use as much as you want. When it runs out, okay, you just wait until the next refresh, which is awesome. Will you test the 5G? No, I do not have a carrier that supports 5G, so that's not... I. You guys know my opinions on 5G. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I think it's stupid, I think it's unnecessary, and there's almost nothing a phone needs 5G for. Um, so I'm not going to go out and get a phone plan just so I can have 5G on the S20 Ultra. If, if there was a version of this phone... Why is it wiggling? I can hear something. Do you hear that? It's like, is that the buttons shaking? That makes me nervous. It's like making a little bit of noise. Is that buttons? It's, it fits like a rattle. It's like something rattling in there. That's weird. Um, Mint will support 5G soon since T-Mobile does. Yeah, T-Mobile's 5G is not what I envision 5g is not t-mobile's 5g is barely 5g because the the speeds they advertise people were getting with t-mobile's 5g i've gotten that with mint mobile and they don't support 5g so i don't i i don't buy that that's stupid that's the camera stabilizer should it shake like that because this has this doesn't make that noise what why does the 
I'm I'm not shaking it because I want it to break. I'm just saying like my phone goes in my pocket. This will experience rattles and vibrations. Cheap quality. Well, on a fourteen hundred dollar phone, I hope not. Something in there is wiggling around. That makes me a little nervous. Uh, are foldable knives the future? Yes, yes. I've had iPhones make that noise when you shake it uh, too. It usually means loose buttons. Huh. They actually, I think they removed the variable aperture this year. These don't have variable apertures anymore. It has bigger zoom. Open the camera and try it again. Okay, good question. Yeah, camera's open. Still makes that noise. I mean, it's not its not a huge issue because I don't use my phone like that, but just slight movements and I can hear it. That kind of makes me uncomfortable. It's like there's sand in there or something. Like a tiny amount of, there's like a tiny rock in there or something. I, I'm sure you guys are right. It's probably like the, the stabilizer or something. I'm just saying my iPhone, iPhone doesn't make that noise. Um, and this is much cheaper, by the way. <laughs> Philip Super Chat, a camera versus 11 Pro Pixel Huawei. I don't review Huawei phones. They don't sell them here. And I'm not interested in having them imported or anything like that. Because majority of my market is America anyway. So, um. Might make the same noise. Oh, okay. Amazing Grace said that as well. I won't I won't use that as a point against the S20. It's just something I'm noticing. I wonder if that's the buttons or something. The buttons don't move when I move them when I touch them. Uh will you up though will you upload this live stream onto a video? Yes, YouTube should should. Sometimes YouTube messes things up, but I will do my best to make this live stream available after the fact. So uh if it's not available, YouTube screwed up, okay? Um, I notice it's quieter when the camera is open. Really? I didn't. Do I need it to be video or something? Is the 100X thing a gimmick? I, I would say it's a gimmick. I, I mean, it's cool. It doesn't mean it's not impressive. But, um, it's definitely not something most people are going to buy. Let's switch to video. No, it makes the same noise. The camera, the camera being open doesn't change anything um go to advance press the movements and gestures there you can find easier ways to take screenshots also okay i believe you um they just remove their beloved variable aperture they don't know what they're doing they're just throwing features every year and they if they want they remove them well that's what samsung's done for a long time is they'll try everything and then only stick with the stuff that people actually like which is fine that's a business model that some find work but the issue with it, I think, with the community responding to that is a lot of the time Samsung will do something that everyone thinks is the future, but it's not. you got to remember, just because Samsung made a foldable does not mean foldables are the future because Samsung also did iris scanning. That's long gone now. Samsung also defended the headphone jack very, very closely, and they got rid of that. Um, they also got rid of the variable aperture, which a lot of people thought was really, really cool when it first came out, and then they were like, eh, you know what? No one's using that. Um, it's fine. I can see the stream. It, it's a little too bright. It has to be exactly right. To, calm down. It's fine. Worth the upgrade coming from a fold? <laughs> is that an upgrade? I mean, this phone is basically better than the flip in every metric other than does it fold. This one wins the does it fold category, but this one wins every other category. Or technically, this one's $20 cheaper, but it doesn't. With tax and everything, they're both over $1,400. This one pushes you a little bit over, but for the most part, yeah, no. Um, headphone jack is rattling inside. <laughs> Watching on my Ultra, it's a good phone. Yeah. Are you getting the 45-watt charger? Yeah, it should be in... Uh, you can switch to... Hold up, hold up should be in here why is it not there we go in the rest of the box you have your suit whoa this brick looks special super fast thank you they finally started doing this this bugged me for years they've had USB-C since the Galaxy S8 but this is the first time the charge brick also has USB-C on it thank you oh my god I'm sorry everyone the chats bots are back Gross. Galaxy Fold has the same specs as the highest spec S10 Plus. How fast the battery health would degrade with 40 watt charger? Uh, 
Uh, probably wouldn't be that bad considering um, you're going to stop getting software updates before the battery health needs to be serviced. What else is in here? We got uh, There's the cable for it, obviously. I'm just going to leave these in here. I have USB-C cables in. And there's the headphones, which are USB-C now, obviously. AKG. I'm just going to leave those in there because I might end up returning them. We'll see. Decent access. Thank you for being USB-C to USB-C. I wanted that for a long time. OIS is the only moving part. Teardowns prove that. All parts have screws. Okay. 40 watt charger sold separately. Oh, yeah. It's not 45 watt in the box. It's just a... Uh, this is, what does it say, 25? Oh, I can't see it. I can't even tell. Tell me! 240 volt compatible, but what's the wattage? It should say that. I don't know. I'll take your word for it. Uh, have you tried the DeX feature? No, I don't want to use a desktop to run phone apps, so I don't really get the point of DeX, but... I have a desktop, you know. <laughs> I'll use my desktop for desktop things. If I want to use calendar or, or notes or browse the web, I'll, you know, use my phone or do it on a, de a desktop I already have. Yeah, it's 25, I believe you. Um, that's okay. I know the bots are coming back, but we're about to wrap up the stream anyway. But it's fun, though. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, this is probably going to become, like, my favorite Android phone yet, as Samsung usually is. But uh, if OnePlus comes out with 120 hertz and wireless charging, that would make me like the OnePlus 8 Pro or whatever they're going to end up calling it quite a bit. Um, but hopefully they can actually get an IP rating. And uh, I doubt they'll be able to rival the camera performance of this thing. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.